What's up everyone? So it's day one of week four on my training phase. Today I'm going to start my morning off with my kettlebell workout. My plan is to be doing 10 sets of 13 swings. Then I go into clean and press for eight sets of seven. And then I'm doing snatches eight sets of six. And then I was a little bit horrified to look that I'm doing 10 sets of 10 high pulls. But apparently that's what I planned for myself. And so I have to do it. We'll see how, how that goes. I think it might be tough, but you don't know until you try. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I want to talk about why I'm doing pretty much the same workout every single day, week in and week out. And it's because I'm trying to improve the ability for me to have patience and to have focus when I fight in judo. There's um, been many matches when I have been doing well at the start, but then after about two or three minutes, I start to lose my focus, or I start to lose my patience, and then I start and I do something stupid, and I end up losing the match because of it. And so, by doing very repetitive movements for an extended period of time, I'm trying to build up my brain's capacity to just grind through a match with the right tactic and not just getting bored halfway through the match and think, well, this hasn't worked immediately, so I should stop doing it and I should just do something stupid and just, you know, go for broke. You know, I'm trying to build up a certain, a certain sense of tenacity so that when I do go back to fighting, I'm able to grind out those long matches which should hopefully help me be able to get past the quarterfinals and the bigger competitions when I'm, especially when I'm fighting better players I can't just throw them immediately I'll have to really fight for it and I'll have to really continue fighting for a long time in those matches so we'll see how it goes so anyway here I'm doing some active stretching before I get into the uh, bulk of my kettlebell workout just because I've noticed I've been getting a little tighter recently and I'm just trying to loosen things up a bit before I start going into the workout. And I'm probably going to try and continue this active stretching throughout most for most of my workouts this week just to make sure I'm staying limber.
So that was um, that was quite tough. I was really struggling there with the snatches and so the cleans and the presses. The high pulls turned out to be fine. They just it was incredibly boring, but you sometimes got to do boring stuff to get results. But God damn! The f goddamn calluses are starting to rip off with these snatches. So. I'm gonna have to figure something out there because I'm snatching every day. But I mean, I survived. And I think I can do it again tomorrow. But god damn. I'll see, see you in a bit when I'm gonna be doing some Bulgarian bag work. So I thought I'd just uh, go over what my plan is for this week. It's gonna be pretty similar to last week's plan. But here we go. So. Like we saw this morning, we're doing the kettlebell, we're still doing the kettlebells every minute on the minute. This time we're doing, we jump from 12, 12 reps on the swings to 13. The clean and press, we jump from six reps to seven reps. And the snatches, we jump from five, five reps to six reps. But on the high pulls, I decided to increase the number of sets I'm doing up to from eight sets to 10 sets. Bulgarian bag, we're increasing the sets again, doing every minute on the minute, so now we're doing 18 sets, 15. Pull-ups, I'm increasing the reps here, from 12 reps to 13 reps. And then push-ups, still doing five times five, and that's five push-ups every 30 seconds. In the week, I do my kettlebells in the morning, for six days. And then, so later this Monday, I'm doing my Bulgarian bag work. I also do some slam ball throws, just to add a little extra explosiveness to the, to the workouts. And then on the, the next day, on the day two, I do my pull-ups and push-ups. I then also throw in abs and rehab work in that, on those days. As you can see, that just repeats until Sunday when I rest. So... I'll see you later once I, when I start getting ready to do my Bulgarian bag work. I do have my judo put here, but at the moment I'm not doing any judo because my knee is uh, injured. And I'm just waiting for that to finally be 120% ready so I can start doing some skill work. So, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so now it's time for my second training of the day. I'm going to be doing 18 sets of Bulgarian swings. It's a lot, but I think I should be able to do it pretty well. And then afterwards, I'm going to do some slam ball exercises. I'm going to do a little bit of different uh, ones that I've been doing last week, just to spice it up a little bit. Anyway, let's get going.
like I said this morning, god damn, but that was actually pretty good. The Bulgarian bags went, went pretty smooth. I'm pretty sure I can continue this week pretty easily, and it's not going to tire me out too much that will affect the other parts of my workouts. The uh, throwing a 12 kilo slam ball though, with some different movements, was definitely tough though. And um, I like those movements, so I'm going to keep that up for this week. And then maybe the week after, I might switch to a 6 kilo ball for Wednesday. And then maybe back to the 12 kilo one on Friday, but like always, I'll just see how it goes. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and like and subscribe, and I'll see you later in the week. Peace.